rocket fuel. Good idea to mess with anything like that. I sure wouldn't. Actually, yours is solid fuel similar in composition to gunpowder. Stanley. Whereas NASA uses strictly liquid propellants. Of course... Is that right? We all ready for the test launch? Let's go. DeSoto will be waiting. As a matter of fact, my father and I were disputing the possibilities of a combined solid and liquid fuel using a glycerin base or C6H10O5. Oh, really? Yes. I had to explain it to my chemistry teacher twice before he understood. Okay, Einstein, let's launch yours first. Did you inspect that uh, Saturn V there? Of course, Professor. You call that a rocket? Yeah, so don't come any closer. <laughs> Are you kidding? It'll never fly. <laughs> not supposed to fly all that far. This is just a half-hour test launch. Because we're barely 500 feet from the highway, and that's the legal limit. So you probably won't find it too exciting. Four, three, two, one, ignition. That's interesting. Sure, you forgot to wind it up. <laughs> <laughs> this never would have happened if I'd used my own special fuel. Yeah, maybe some jumping beans would help. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Stanley, you want to try that again? You uh, forgot to plug in the leads. <laughs> Three, two, one, ignition. Ignition. Everybody, hit the dirt. <laughs> Lights were loose. That's why the tail fell off. I can fix it easily. You should have checked it before. It wasn't safe. There could be a lot of people at the science fair. I don't want anybody hurt. He could fix it, and he'd still have time to test it before this afternoon. Maybe. It was a terrific flight, Stanley. Hey, Big Stan, you're smarter than all those guys put together. Yeah, we can start our own club. Stanley, your rocket! Forget it. You can keep it. Wow, this is gonna show those creeps. Yeah, when are you gonna launch it? Well, it's just a model, really. Hey, come on, kid. I mean, you can make it fly. Yeah, it'll sure make those kids and the prop look sick. <laughs> well... I guess I could. 
As a matter of fact, I have a formula powerful enough to lift the rocket and a payload of about, say, 15 pounds. Wow. That's about the weight of a small monkey. Ah. <laughs> this is my father's private laboratory. He lets me come in here all the time. So how come... So how come we're sneaking in? Look at that, will you? Oh. Hmm. This is what I'm looking for. Yes, this should do the trick for those guys. Hey, Stanley, what's this stuff? Just a second. Hey, Joe, let's see what it'll do. <laughs> My father, quick, let's go. Come on, let's go. tough deciding who's the best flight this afternoon. I'll see you all at the science fair. See you later. I guess Stanley won't be coming with us. Yeah, too bad. He'll sure miss out on a lot of excitement. There, that's the last of it. You sure it'll work? This stuff looks pretty wet. Watch. even more powerful than I thought. Hey, come on, you can't chicken out now. We do those guys see this baby go. Uh, Stanley? Yes, sir? Oh, uh, uh, Stanley, yes. Well, I was going to invite you to watch some of my experiments with, uh, with oh, yes, uh, cellulose plastics. Yes, that's right, uh, later. But I, I see you have company. Uh, thank you, sir. We were heading out to the science fair anyway. Oh, oh, oh good, I, uh, I hope you find it a valuable learning experience. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We better get going. We haven't much time. I borrowed my brother's car. He lets me use it all the time. Are you sure he won't mind? Nah. Not if he doesn't find out, he won't. <laughs> well, mine's ready for the Milky Way. Too bad about Stanley. I'm sure he could have fixed it up. I could, if I wanted to. Stanley, you came back. I came to pick up some of my stuff. Here. Just my tools, thank you. Wait till you see my rocket. This is your rocket. That's what you think. My leg, it, it, it's jammed. We'll have you out of there in no time. Now, the hardest part will be getting you out without falling through ourselves. Now, as soon as you get the cast off your leg, I suggest that you take the trouble to fix those steps. Fire and Home Laboratory, 626 Crestwood Avenue. Let's go. How much does that monkey weigh? About 20 pounds, I guess. Why? Too bad. He could have been the first monkey in his neighborhood to go up into suborbital flight. You are serious. Stanley, if you've got some crazy scheme, you better tell us. Look! A fire! Maybe no one's called the fire department yet. Coming, Stanley? I'm afraid not. I've got work to do.
going back. I'm going to run back and tell Stanley. Hey, what took you so long? <coughs> Explosives in a red box. Up in there somewhere. A red box. I saw it on the floor when we picked him up, I think. This whole area could go up if the lab blows. Stanley, your house! Stanley? Imagine how it started. I, I wouldn't leave anything burning. Uh, what were you using that stuff for? A new plastic compound. It's only explosive in certain states. Like when there's a fire, for instance. Hey, I couldn't find Stanley. He's gone. We'd better get going, too. We're late for the science fair already. I'm going to catch a ride to the science fair with the kids, if that's okay with you. Maybe it was a good thing Stanley wasn't around. I wonder where he is. Stanley said he had a rocket that could put bananas in the space. Is that possible? Where would he get such a powerful fuel? The lab? No, he wouldn't do that. Gosh, they're pretty. <laughs> Wait to see the look on those guys' faces when this baby takes off. <laughs> right. <laughs> if he's using the fuel I think he is, the aluminum rocket will melt. It'll explode. All right, where is it? Some science show at a ranch uh, out in the country. I, I can't remember. And, uh, that'll be the country science fair. Climb in. Factors such as wind velocity and direction are important. Launch site should be on a clear landscape with no fire hazard. Model rockets must never jeopardize nature, birds, or animals. And as you can see, there are no overhead wires or airplanes. Electronic ignition is a must. It allows a safe distance for the launcher. Perfect. Oh, yeah? Was he in for a surprise? <laughs> Three, two, one. Ignition. I waited perfectly. The fuel must be damp. Okay, Carol, why don't you go ahead with your Saturn V? You can refuel yours later, Jason. I just hope we reach him in time. If we don't... Squad 51 to San Fernando Station. Three, two, one, ignition! <laughs> Must be an exhaust cone malfunction. Uh, we'll check it later. Three, two, one, ignition. <laughs> I think 
think I smell a rat. Wait. Hey, shouldn't we break a bottle of soda pop over it first? For good luck? <laughs> I just want to get it over with. 20, 19, 18. Oh, well, there's no doubt about it. A chemical additive. 10, 9, 8. And look at this. A whistle fixed to the exhaust and some kind of... Get the next horse. Throw your jacket over his head to stop him from panicking. Stanley, how could you have been so careless and leave the Bunsen burner lighted? Burner? It wasn't me, sir. Well, then who? It was your idea, too. Oh, yeah? Well, tell that to your brother. I guess I'm not the only one who'll be paying for the damage for a long time. You're lucky it's just hay. Or was. I'll repay my share somehow, even if I have to turn lead into gold to do it. Well, I guess your rocketry days are over for a while, at least. Quite a while. Captain, as I know, have fun with you. 